What's going on guys and welcome back to another brand new video on the channel guys and in today's video I'm going to be talking about England's last match. We went and played Belgium in our last and final group stage match. Let's just crack on in today's video. So you must be wondering Brett why on earth are you wearing this Hollister shirt? I know you're England top now. My England top unfortunately had to go in the wash but I'll be back wearing it next week so that's why I'm filming this video right now with this top on but don't worry guys. The England top will be back on next week. So let's get into today's video, guys. So England made eight changes from the last game against Panama. Talk about the starting 11. So we started with Pickford, Alexander-Arnold, Jones, Stones, Cahill, Dyer, Rose, Loftus-Cheek, Delph, Vardy and Rashford. So that was our starting 11. So we all expected that there was going to be changes to the squad. We obviously qualified going into the round of 16 which was good to see that. Obviously, we're progressing on now. A few teams have obviously are leaving the tournament now, the likes of Germany, which is a good boost for England. This is the last and final game of the group stages. Before I actually talk about my overall reaction, now, we're first going to be talking about the team selection. Now, we all knew that there was going to be changes in this game. We all knew there was going to be changes. We made eight of those changes. We also played a youngster that goes by the name of Trent Alexander-Arnold. Now, he's a very young guy who's made his debut in the World Cup. Felt like in this game, it wasn't his game. I know it's his debut against Belgium. It's a big game, but in hindsight, you've got Belgium who've got more of a depth squad than us. We've got a, such a young squad. We're playing Trent Alexander-Arnold now. He was on set pieces, but his set pieces weren't the best in this game. You must admit that they weren't the best. Also, the team selection, he wanted to give some other players a rest. The starting 11 a rest and give some other guys a bit of a chance and to prove themselves for the round of 16. But I doubt that they'll be playing because obviously he'll want to play the starting 11. There was obviously, there was obviously no Kane, no Rashford, no Sterling, no Deli Alli. There was no one in that team. They were all rested. For this game they were all sat on the bench and there was obviously no De Bruyne, Lukaku, Hazard they were all sat out as well we all knew that there was going to be so many changes in this game obviously just due to the team selection it wasn't the best but obviously we had to put out a team that was good enough but at the end of the day it is what it is as you guys are aware we obviously lost one goal to nil now i'm also going to be talking about advancing in the world cup as well because we lost the game against Belgium we came second in the group which means now we are playing Colombia if we've topped the group we would have had to play Japan but then going into the quarterfinals we would have had to play Brazil so obviously you either play Brazil or you either play Sweden or Switzerland which is a nice easy game in the quarterfinals that we lost the game against Belgium we are going to be playing Colombia first but we're going to have a different start in 11 it's going to be a different day for us and we're just going to have to go for it against Colombia, get Colombia out of the way with, and then go in to a nice quarter-final game. But then after that, we'll have to play Spain in the semi-finals, which is, that's good for us, because then we don't have to play someone big like Brazil. We've already played Brazil last November. At the end of the day, that was nil-nil, but I'm not saying that was a bad game. I'm just saying, like, we can avoid Brazil now. This game was a bit of mixed emotions for some fans. Some fans were happy after the result that we lost because obviously we get a better draw advancing into the World Cup. I'm obviously not pleased that we've got Colombia but obviously we have to take Colombia up and we have to go and beat them. It is what it is but we have to move on. If we've got Colombia, we've got Colombia and we just have to take it up now and just do our best against Colombia. But looking at Colombia, their team is not good enough to beat our England side. I know our England side is a younger squad to them. Obviously, they've got Falcao in there, but Falcao is not playing his best football. You've got James Rodriguez, who is injured. He could be a doubt for the game against England. So he could not be playing, so that could be a boost for us. They've got a few good players, but their keeper's shocking as well. So we've got a bit of an advantage there. So if we get a few goals against Colombia, I'll be happy. And then we could advance into the quarterfinals and get a nice, easy draw to either we'll be playing Switzerland or Sweden and I'll be happy with that. So obviously there was a few fans that were happy with that, a few fans with that were disappointed over the game but at the end of the day it is what it is. 
But we move on now into the round of 16. We're both qualified. Who gives a shit? We're moving on now to Colombia. So into my overall reaction now. In the first half, it wasn't the best of football. People were thinking it was boring. And you would get games like this to be boring because obviously there was not much happening. But obviously, if you're inside that stadium, it would be... A great game to go to, seeing it live. As a viewer watching it on TV, it was just boring. Not much was happening. We lacked of something in this game. A lack of energy. There wasn't much happening in that first half. Second half, again, we just lacked of something, which was energy again. We weren't playing the best of football when we created our chances. Create chances, but we just could not be able to finish our chances off, which was a bit unfortunate, and it's just a bit frustrating and annoying to happen. So we just have to take our chances and just put them to bed. So it's just like going back to that Tunisia game where we kept on having chance after chance after chance and we just could not put our chances away. Like Rashford had a great chance to put a goal away. Completely scuffed it. He completely scuffed it. And some players are going to be disappointed with the result. And the manager as well. Going back to Belgium's performance, they put out a great performance. Obviously, they would have had the most of possession. They were going for it. They went for it. They beat us one goal to nil. But the most dramatic thing that had happened was Batshuayi. Take a look at this. Now, what an absolute shambles he did there, Batshuayi. He just absolutely embarrassed himself in front of the whole wide world. What an absolute embarrassment. Just do not try and do something like that. When you've scored let's get in today's video so england started nice and composed on the ball we obviously didn't want to start the game how we wanted to start it really again a bit of a crap start we weren't on it in, in the first half the good thing about it was when we were winning the ball back in defense that was a good thing that we could do breaking on belgium the thing that just kept on getting my eye was you know, we could create a chance but we just couldn't put these chances away so that's what really got the players and that will be playing on their minds as well that when we were obviously playing that game. And we were just a way too many mistakes in this first half. We were just giving away possession and it wasn't necessary. And also we let Belgium get very close on the counter attack. It was just great defending by Cahill. Uh, it was just off the line as well, which we got away with. We just kept on giving away their possession. Just silly, stupid mistakes that were not necessary. Belgium on the attack then which was when they had that close goal, uh, when they nearly scored someone who ever shot. Again, Dyer wasn't being tight enough on the player. It was just open, he just took the shot and he had a crack and it was just a bit of a kerfuffle there. At the end of the day, we defended it well, but it was still, we were just a bit sloppy. We were just a bit sloppy and a little bit lazy at the back there. And we just did not know what was going on, so they had to talk, they had to communicate what was going on. But at the end of the day, they sussed it all out. But at the end of the day, yes, we cleared it. But it's just not good enough from the players. We need more oomph. We need to lift the tempo up. That's what we needed to do. And then Belgium were just having a crack at goal, which the defence needed to be tighter on. Just talking about Dyer. Dyer didn't play his best of football. He was leading the squad. He was the captain for the game. So he had to direct the players what to do. Was he the best of captains? No, because practically he could have been better himself when he had to close down on one of Belgium's players where they just had a crack at goal it was just wide open he wasn't tight enough on the player and they have a shot we cannot be letting these chances happen this is what we cannot do let these mistakes happen now and we cannot be making those mistakes now going into the round of 16 we have to cut out all these shitty mistakes that we made against Belgium so we just have to really cut them all out in the round of 16 and then just move on but then after that when we get another break we do well to win the ball back but we just couldn't seem to find any white shirts hardly no one is up the pitch so if we cleared the ball from our box there's hardly no one up there it's just Vardy and Rashford and they struggled in that game so they didn't know what they were doing either so then you have also got to question that starting 11 should Danny Welbeck start should Rashford be benched who was the right player to play Danny Welbeck's more stronger he's more aggressive but someone like Vardy I thought someone was going to put a goal away but no it just did not happen it just did not click for us in that game whatsoever there was no place high up the pitch unless we were just walking it in and what I mean walking it in we were just walking walking into their half but we just weren't good enough 
on the break whatsoever. There was just times where England did well attacking wise, but we just couldn't seem to finish our chances off. That just what really annoyed us in that first half. And also, we just couldn't have the right contact on the ball as well. There was just not nothing clicking for us. Yeah, we hadn't been creating enough chances. Belgium had more chances than England. We didn't even have a shot on target. That's how poor we played. That just showed how poor the performance was out there. We have to have a different starting eleven against Colombia. We cannot be playing that shitty starting eleven. Honestly, we cannot be starting that starting eleven in the round of sixteen because it's just it was just not good enough from the players. The passing was good, the movement was good. But yeah, the crosses were just shocking. All the way around, the crosses were shocking, the set pieces were shocking, the free kicks were shocking, the corners were shocking. It was just shocking all the way around. And you get like a 19 year old on the set pieces who doesn't know what he's doing. Get Trippier on there. It, oh, I just have to say, the starting 11 was just woeful. Honest to God. It was just not good enough. And then some of them were spot on, but just most of them were shocking. They were just all over the place, going deep, going short. Oh, it was just not good enough. We couldn't find the right the right cross, the right corner. It was awful. It was poor all the way around, honestly. Overall, it was, it was a tight and slow start. Second half, we needed to lift the tempo up. We needed to be more aggressive. We needed to get more stuck in, get more crosses into the box. And we needed to create more chances when we were on the break and finish off our chances. We made an early change. Stones came off from Maguire. Now I'm gonna talk about Stones' performance. I don't know if that was a tactical change or if he was injured. If he's injured, then he's obviously gonna be a doubt for the next game against Colombia. But if it was tactical, then fair play with Gareth Southgate for changing things up. But at the end of the day, he still played a good game, but it, I, I hope it was tactical. And Belgium started quick and started creating chances early. England sat back a bit and just took control of that game. Again, it was just going back to the last game against Panama, which just weren't creating an insane amount of chances. He needed subs to come on for, and help the team out. I know he wanted a rest, the likes of Kane, Sterling, Ali, all them lot, but not one of them came on. You would have thought that Harry Kane was going to come on and just give us a go. None of that happened. I felt like we were struggling and we just couldn't seem to break down Belgium. Belgium then started hitting back on England. We could do well in defence, but we just made a stupid error by letting a goal by Belgium. But I must say, it was a great goal by Yanazai, but within all the people, Yanazai scoring against England, an ex-Man United player who couldn't play shit, letting a stupid goal like that. Completely, the defence was just sloppy and lazy and just did nothing about it. We just completely switched off and Pickford got his hand to it, but it was just not enough. And the goals that we've conceded now is a penalty, a free kick and a great goal by from Yanazai. But we shouldn't be letting something like that, what Yanazai did, and which went up at Benjamins. We've got to be better. The defence completely switched off. They just weren't on top of it. I thought we were going to be on top of it in our defence. Clearly not when that goal went in. It just frustrated me that we're letting a goal like that and we got to be better as a team. England then started giving it everything, throwing everything at it. We created chances, but our chances just weren't falling in the back of the net. And, we, and then we were missing the goal. So you had Rashford. We broke on the counter-attack. Rashford, the goalkeeper came out and he goes and puts it wide of the goal. And clearly couldn't put it in the back of the net. He could have just chipped it over the goalie. My God. And then we couldn't put anything on target. Annoying and frustrating. Where we did the hard work and we just couldn't put our chances away. And we needed someone to come on and do us a favour to get us back into the game. We then finally did a change. Well, back came on for uh, Alexander-Arnold. Alexander-Arnold's performance was shocking all the way around. After that, Belgium sat back, took control of the game. Belgium were parking the bus and kept everything together. All Belgium wanted to hear there was the final whistle. That was it. The game was over. England lost one goal to nil. Disappointing result. Disappointing performance. It is what it is. But we have to put that behind and move on now. Our next game is Colombia in the round of 16. Now, Colombia, they don't have the best of teams. I was talking about this earlier on. On paper, the team is shit. But bear me out on the pitch. Might be playing okay. The team right now is looking shit. But if we put out a good lineup, do our football, get a few goals past them, we think it's going to be a different lineup. We've got to hope that our players turn up, they've got to turn up, and they've got to do us a favour, and we have to score a few goals against Colombia. If we fail to win against Colombia, that's it. It's finito. It's finished. It's finished for England. But all I'm saying is, is if we beat Colombia, it will be a miracle. It will be a miracle for England. 
to go through to the quarterfinals and this will be the best chance that it's coming home. And if we play to the football how we want to play, go by the game plan, get our tactics right, do what we need to do and hopefully we get the result against Colombia. What more do you want? We're on our way to Moscow. Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys with another video next week and peace. Hey.